Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, it's been quite a while. It's been a pretty long time. About five months if, if I'm not wrong. And first and foremost, I think I need to apologize to a lot of you people. All the 144 people who have subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't upload any content for the past five months. Mainly because I was going through a lot of personal issues. I... Uh, I was going through a job change and all that, you know, uh, it really messed with my head. Anyhow, with that out of the way, uh, uh, let me just assure you that I'm going to be uploading again regularly on a very regular basis. So from here on, uh, I'm going to upload, um, at least I'm going to try to upload uh, once every two weeks at least. So yeah, uh, thanks for sticking around guys. And today the review I have for you or rather an overview is of Lineage OS 16, the official one on the OnePlus One. Oops, started playing. So yeah, uh, without further ado, as I like to say in the YouTube community, let's dive right into it. So guys, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably already know by now that the first thing you need to do is that install a custom recovery and which you probably have by now hopefully and uh, after booting up into your recovery in this case it's twrp you need to go into wipe and then go into advanced wipe and then go into delvic system i mean uh, you know check delvic system uh, data and cache and then swipe to wipe i'm not going to do that because i've already done that and i've actually got the rom installed as well as gs package then what you need to do is go into your storage wherever you have uh, you know kept your rom zip file and the gs package file and then flash it and you should be good to go uh, for now what, what i'm gonna do is reboot into the system and show you how it actually is there's a very familiar uh, boot animation of lineage os and we already into the system so first things first again this rom is super fast i mean if i didn't know better i wouldn't be able to tell that this is a five year old handset by now yes the one plus one was released in april of 2014 and as of today it's more than five years old actually but for a five year old handset it's amazingly snappy and the snapdragon 845 hatch has aged really well so uh, let's go into the settings and see what do we have as you can see about phone uh, it's android 9 version 9 and also okay one small thing i gotta point out uh, for some reason lineage os uh, you know recognizes the one plus one as a pixel phone which it is surely not but anyhow i don't mind uh, so next what i want to show you is all the features hidden and tucked away in the display section if you go into styles in display you can see that uh, you get a you get the option to select the style which might be automatic or maybe uh, based on the time of the day or light or dark uh, under accent color you have tons of accent colors to choose from and uh, then under mode uh, the default is actually lighter gray but I actually uh, prefer going with the complete pitch black you know the dark one if only this was an AMOLED display like you know it would actually have helped in the battery consumption as well but you know back in the day like in 2014 it, there, there wasn't too many AMOLED displays out there to be to be honest apart from Samsung's so yeah and uh, apart from that it's all running just really really smooth I mean I do not have any complaint with this whatsoever let's try it YouTube for once and see Okay, for some reason it's still downloading. Uh, I need to check that later. But I don't think uh, YouTube will have any problem, you know, running on this. Also, like the dialer is really fast. Like you know, app opening times are really fast and snappy. Really, really fast uh, for a five-year-old phone. The camera isn't the gre greatest right now, to be honest. I mean, it's a five-year-old device. You can't really expect amazing camera quality the sensor has degraded over time and also uh, i prefer 
you know going with the off display rather the capacitive touch screen since uh, you know very few phones sport this these days and the OG one plus this one had the option to actually let you turn on the on screen or the capacitive uh, display at will which none of the you know later one pluses did so you know i prefer using that considering that i get a lot more screen real estate so yeah all in all it's an amazing rom the only three things that i do not like about this phone anymore is number one that uh, there is no volti support but back then volti was not a thing in 2014 until jio came in india honestly uh, number two would be the battery which has degraded over time but it's definitely not unusable and number three would be the camera sensor which has also degraded over time so yeah apart from all these i don't think like uh, I mind yeah, I would mind using this phone as my daily driver uh, in 2019 and uh, I also also actually have a OnePlus 6 as you as a lot of you might know. So yeah, this is a pretty great device till now. I mean, I don't know how many phones from 2014 can run and uh, as uh, be as snappy as this in this day and age, but this surely does. A OnePlus 1, ladies and gentlemen, for you. Let's open up Let's open up YouTube and see if it, you know, runs well. As you can see, it's really snappy till now. No problems whatsoever. That's the Seven Pro for you. Almond is available now on Amazon.in. So yeah, guys. Hope you like my video and uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you guys really want an in-depth, better review of this, let me know. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching.